Hey guys, welcome back to Hash Include Electronics with another video. And in this video, we are going to learn how to use PS4 controller with ESP32 module. We will pair the PS4 controller with ESP32 module and see if data is received properly by printing it on serial monitor. We will also see a simple demo where we will control LEDs. We can use this PS4 controller with ESP32 to control RC cars, RC tanks, RC robots, etc. We will resolve all the major known issues. So let's get started. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit subscribe button below and press bell icon to get latest updates. We will need following components, PS4 controller, and ESP32 module. PS4 controller connects with ESP32 using Bluetooth. First we need to get Bluetooth MAC address of ESP32 board and set it inside PS4 controller. For that we need to install ESP32 board using Arduino board manager. I have provided the ESP32 board link in the description below. Go to file, preferences and add the ESP32 board link. Then go to tools, then boards manager and search for ESP32 and install it. After that we need to install PS4 controller library as well. Download this library from the link provided in the description below. Once downloaded, go to sketch, include library and then click on add zip file. Select the downloaded zip library file and click add. Now we need to update PS4 controller library code to avoid compilation error. Go to Arduino sketch folder, then libraries folder. Then go to PS4 controller libraries src folder. Open PS4 underscore SPP file and go to the end of the file. Now comment out these lines carefully and save the file. Now connect ESP32 board to laptop and upload this get bluetooth mac address code. Select ESP32 ruler module and port. Hit upload. Once uploaded open serial monitor and press enable button on ESP32 module. You can see that the MAC address is printed. Note down this address. Now we need to set this MAC address inside the PS4 controller. For that install the 6 axis pair tool. We can download this tool online. Once installed open this tool. It will say no device found. Now connect your PS4 controller with laptop using USB cable. You can see that the pair tool shows device connected. It will also display the current master address stored if any. Now input the MAC address of our ESP32 board which we found in previous step. Now click update. That's it, our PS4 controller is set up to connect to ESP32 board. Let's take a quick look at the code to receive the data from PS4 controller. Inside code we need to include the PS4 controller library. We have created notify callback function which will be called whenever we receive data from PS4 controller. We can add all our control handling in this function. Inside this function we will read the values of each control and print it on serial monitor. PS4 controller library provides different functions to read the values of each control. This piece of code is only only needed so that message is printed on serial monitor properly. We have on connect callback function which will be called when PS4 controller is connected. We have on disconnect callback function which will be called when PS4 controller is disconnected. Inside setup function begin serial monitor. Now attach notify and on connect callback function. Also we will attach on disconnect callback function. Then begin the PS4 communication. We can keep loop function empty. I have provided the link to the code in the description below. You can upload it directly. Now let's upload the code. Connect ESP32 module to laptop using USB cable. Select ESP32 ruler module and port. Hit upload. Once uploaded, go to tools and open serial monitor. Now press enable button on ESP32. Press home button on controller. Now you can see the values are printed on serial monitor. Which means we are receiving data from PS4 controller. Now if we press joysticks the values are changing. Also start pressing the different buttons. You can see corresponding values are changing. This means that our PS4 controller and ESP32 working fine.
Now let's see simple demo to control LEDs using PS4 controller. Make a connection as per circuit diagram. Now upload this code. You can see that we can easily control the LEDs using these buttons. There is no issue using PS4 controller with ESP32. It stops connecting after few attempts. If this happens, then reset any pair devices from ESP32 by just uploading this code. We will be making many interesting projects based on PS4 controller. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Stay safe and please like, share, comment and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.